Thank you for the kind invitation to have me here at CPAC. It is truly an honor to be here just a few days after our presidential and legislative elections. Which, by the way, they pulverize the opposition. They say, they say globalism comes to die at CPAC. I'm here to tell you that in El Salvador, they, it's already dead. But if you want globalism to die here too, you must be willing to unapologetically fight against everything and everyone that stands for it. Fight for your freedoms, fight for your rights. The next president of the United States must not only win an election, he must have the vision, the will, and the courage to do whatever it takes. And above all, he must be able to identify the underlying forces that will conspire him, that will conspire against him. These dark forces are already taking over your country. You may not see it yet, but it's already happening. You don't see it as clearly because people are designed to see linear changes, not exponential ones. We don't always recognize how fast a problem can multiply and spiral out of control. The problem is much like the metaphor of the boiling frog. Once the water boils, it's already too late. People fail to see these things. It's our nature. Just like the frog, people become complacent and they don't realize how bad things are getting until it's too late. 